this is the pictures of lung tissue. You can easily see the aggregates of lymphocytes and fibrosis between the interstitial tissue. Mononuclear cell infiltration. Macrophage is the dominant cellular player in chronic inflammation. Macrophages are one component of the mononuclear phagocyte system that is also known as reticuloendothelial system. This diagram shows the maturation of mononuclear cells. First, they recruit the monocyte from circulation and then later they become proliferate and causing the immobilization of the macrophages. The products of activated macrophages serve to eliminate injurious agents. This diagram shows roles of activated macrophages in chronic inflammation. Other cells involved in chronic inflammations are lymphocytes, plasma cells, eosinophils, and mast cells. So this is the lymphocytes. You can see as the small round cells with thin scanty blue cytoplasm. They are involved in both antibody-mediated and cell-mediated immune reaction. Lymphocytes and macrophages, they are interact in a directional way. Activated lymphocytes, they can secrete the lymphokines. Again, they will stimulate the monocyte and macrophages. And then again, macrophages, they will secrete the monokines, and then which will influence the T and B cell functions. Okay, this is the eosinophil. Eosinophil have the granules inside the cytoplasm. They contain the major basic protein. And it's very toxic to the parasite, but also causes the lysis of the epithelial cells. Here we can see the focus of inflammation showing the numerous eosinophils. Okay. Granulometers inflammation, a distinctive pattern of chronic inflammatory reaction characterized by microscopic aggregation of macrophages that are transformed into the epithelial cells surrounded by a color of mononuclear lymphocytes, principally lymphocytes and occasional plasma cells. This is a diagram of the tuberculous lymphadenitis. And then here we can easily see the granuloma composed of the epithelial cells and the Duncan's type of giant cells. There are two types of giant cells. Langhans type giant cells, nucleines are arranged in periphery, that's you can see as the horseshoe pattern. And then another thing is the foreign body type nuclei scattered in cytoplasm. Other type of giant cells are S-shop giant cell, Teton giant cell, tumor giant cell, Ristenbeck and osteoclast like giant cells. So causes of granulometers inflammation are tuberculosis. Sarcoidosis, cast crash disease, LGV, leprosy, brucellosis, syphilis, some mycotic infection, areliosis, reactions of the arytenin lipids. There are two types of granuloma, foreign body granuloma and immune granuloma. Granuloma is referred as tubercle, they are hard tubercle, and soft tubercle. Soft tubercle, they have the central caseous necrosis inside. This is a pictures of typical tuberculous granuloma showing area of central necrosis surrounded by Langhans type giant cells, epithelial cells and lymphocytes. So diagnosis, diagnosis of chronic granulomatous inflammation based on biopsy. There are many atypical presentations and it is necessary to identify the specific etiologic agents. So agent can be identified histologically by polarizing microscopy for refractive foreign body, <coughs> special stains for the organism, example acid fat stain for tobacco bacilli, and we can do the culture for the tuberculosis and serological studies for syphilis. Thank you for your attention. <coughs>